Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. I want to talk about uh, something that's very important and that's like what is the regulatory fallout or regulations that will occur because of Terra Luna. Of course regulators were talking about it and yes there are conspiracy theories because Janet Yellen was attacking UST while it was going down. So you know the Fed or something, uh, the Fed or whatever had something to do with this going down. I, I really don't believe that. I don't think the Fed would actually like sabotage like a project or anything. I don't think they have to. I think the hedge fund did it themselves. Citadel was actually the, um, if you guys don't remember, Citadel was actually the hedge fund that got destroyed by GameStop. So they probably just wanted some revenge. Now, about um, what regulations will actually come down. There's definitely gonna be some regulatory changes. This gives the SEC and other agencies more firepower to demand regulations because this obviously hurt a lot of people. And I think uh, crypto people, and especially people who were hurt about by this, and there were a lot of them, will be more open to regulations after this. So I do think there's going to be massive restrictions, if not an outright ban on algorithmic stable coins. Now, I'm pretty sure they'll let USDC go. They can't really do anything about USDT. It's been there for a long time. They've been after it for like five years, have come up with nothing. So I think like um, stable coins backed by the US dollar, they're going to be okay with because the only way you can take those stable coins down is if you take the US government down. And they're not going to allow you to take the government down. So they're okay with that. That does not actually, um, that actually does not threaten economic security. Tether is another story. We don't really know if it's fully backed or what it's actually backed by. They never let you do it. They never have let us do an audit. But a stable coins like BUSD, USDC, VUSD, they're going to be fine because they're backed by the US dollars. Algorithmic stable coins, there's going to be a lot of audits and restrictions on, if not an outright ban. So we're looking at USDD, DeJed, they might actually not do so well in the United States because of the whole Terra Luna fallout. They were already wanting to put restrictions on stable coins before this, and algorithmic stable coins after this. I think they're going to have a much, much easier time actually pushing this through. But other things they should actually consider, that is like leverage borrowing and leverage loaning. I think they should actually put a lot, in crypto, they should actually put a lot of uh, restrictions on that. Like how much can you actually leverage on a borrow, leverage on a loan? Because, you know, without leverage and without derivatives, this UST collapse didn't happen. Yes, Do Kwan was arrogant. Yes, Do Kwan was kind of an asshole. And yes, he did have it coming to him by daring billionaires to actually attack his protocol. By the way, you never want to do that because that's dumb. Um, but, you know, besides that, um, you know, without being able to massively short UST while Bitcoin was nearing the bottom and then using leverage loaning to actually swap the BTC for UST anyways, this would have never actually been able to happen. They use these financial derivatives, which are basically just made up constructs uh, to basically tank this coin without the massive like leverage loaning, leverage borrowing, without uh, being able to sh massively short this would never happen if there were like, you know, uh, limits on like, you could only do maybe like a three X short or two X short. I don't think they would have actually been able to pull this off. So essentially like derivatives and leverage borrowing, leverage trading on such a huge scale, basically allow big institutions to essentially do financial terrorism against smaller uh, projects. And like I said, those things aren't even real products. They're derived products that don't really exist. And I really do think that if you're going to like, if you're going to actually like uh, regulate anything, you shouldn't put all your efforts on spot trading, but you definitely should put your efforts on leverage trading and derivatives trading and margin trading, because those things can definitely be used to manipulate the market. And I do think the feds will actually take a hard look at that because a lot of this stuff, a lot of these scams are caused by like flash loaning, uh, flash loaning, leverage loaning, and derivatives. So hopefully the SEC and the feds actually take a look at that because those are basically financial terrorism. Those are like weapons of financial terrorism that big institutions and bad actors can actually use against smaller projects. So that's my view on it. I do think um, they do need regulation on algorithmic stable coins because those are obviously not dependable. And they definitely need um, ways to actually stop the financial terrorism coming from like a massive leverage loaning and leverage derivatives. So let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.